Hey friends, I hope you're ready for some serious cleaning motivation, specifically an extreme whole house cleaning session. I got started one evening right around dinner time. I guess it was actually right when we were done eating and it was a snow day. You probably can see some of the snow outside through the windows and I had spent all day with my kids. So when my husband got home, I passed them on to him and I got to cleaning. And this is going to be a two day whole house cleaning video. And let me tell you, it's a good one. I've had some requests recently for more deep cleaning and to share meals here on my channel, so that's what you're going to get in today's video. I will be cleaning the whole house, but also cleaning some really gross carpet and baseboards, as well as showing you a super yummy crock pot meal that Mike and Avery both loved, so it's kid friendly. It's super easy, and I definitely think it's one you guys should try. It's a crock pot recipe. You are definitely going to see some deep cleaning today. I'm going to be cleaning on top of my cabinets, getting into the nitty gritty of baseboards, scrubbing doors and baseboards, and cleaning on top of my fan. I'm also going to be sharing with you how I organize all of our documents and receipts, all of our paper documents, and I'm going to show you how we do it, how we stay organized, and how I consider a self-purging system, which is nice because if you want to stay organized, this video will show you how to do that. So get ready. Let's do this. Before we continue on with our cleaning, I do want to mention that this video is in collaboration with one of my dear friends, Lisa Prado. Lisa is a UK mama. She has three adorable and sweet boys. She's absolutely beautiful, as you'll clearly see on the outside, but she's also beautiful on the inside. She is just the sweetest person. And what I love about Lisa and her channel is how motivating and inspiring she is in so many ways. Her decorating and sense of style is beautiful. You seriously need to head on over to her channel. She's also doing a whole house clean with me and see how she decorates her house. It's stunning. I will have her channel and her video linked below. If you are coming over from Lisa's channel, hello, thank you for stopping over, taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I truly hope you will find this video motivating and inspiring. If you are coming over from her channel, just say hi in the comment section. Let me know where you're from, something interesting about yourself. I am Jamie. I'm sure you know that. I'm a mom of three girls. My twins are almost 11 months old, which is crazy, and I have a four-year-old. We were able to get pregnant with my twins through IVF, so they are truly, truly my miracle and rainbow babies. I post every single week here on my channel, and my goal is that I can uplift, inspire, and motivate you. I would love to have you guys subscribe and join my journey. I've been doing this or that questions lately to get to know you guys a little bit better. So my first this or that question is salty or sweet. I am honestly a mixture. I love like some popcorn and some pretzels and maybe some M&Ms. But if I had to pick, I'd probably go salty. Let me know, salty or sweet. Creeping up on me sometimes 
I've also had a lot of requests for more decluttering and organizing videos here on my channel and if that's what you want, that's what you're going to get. I'm going to be delivering those videos to you. I've actually already filmed two videos and I'm going to give you a little sneak peek right here. I decluttered and organized my entire kitchen, multiple cupboards, cabinets, junk drawer. I deep cleaned my entire refrigerator and freezer. I literally took out every shelf to deep clean the refrigerator. I cleaned out and decluttered and organized my pantry. So I did a lot. It ended up being so much work. I had to make it into three videos. So make sure you're subscribed because I will be rolling these out here on my channel in the next couple of weeks. It's almost March and that means it's almost spring cleaning time. So I want to know from you, what do you want to see me spring clean? What do you want to see me deep clean? I've had some requests for more specific deep cleaning videos, but I want to know specifically what you mean by deep cleaning and what you want to see. I will try my best to clean outside when it gets warmer, but here in Northern Ohio, that might not be until the end of April. We are currently getting a huge snowstorm. We don't have an attic. That's another request I've got, but we don't have an attic. Just keep that in mind with your requests. But Mike and I will be filming a garage clean out and organize here in the next couple of weeks. That should go up sometime in March. But let me know what specific deep cleaning and spring cleaning things you want to see in the comment section. I'm super excited to share with you how we organize our paper clutter. I've been asked a lot of questions on how we do that recently and I feel that that's one area in the house that can get really overwhelming because you tend to just take those papers and documents and just toss them somewhere. At least that's what we used to do. And I got tired of that right after Avery was born. We had so much paperwork from her being born and you know important documents of hers that I didn't want to get lost so I decided to buckle down and I wanted to find a good system for organizing. I also wanted to figure something out for receipts because I used to be one of those people who would just kind of crumple them up and store them in my wallet or leave them in my car and I didn't want to throw them away in case I ever needed them at a later date. So I did some research and found a good system so you'll be able to keep your receipts and all of your paper documents organized and I'm also going to show you a way how it pretty much self purges itself every single year so stay tuned for that.
I know you've seen me use these e-cloths here on my channel before, and I just got some new ones because I love the general polishing cloth that I would use on my windows and mirrors. And so I wanted to get some of the stainless steel cloth specifically because I've heard a lot of other ladies here on YouTube rave about how good they are. And we all know that stainless steel is a pain to keep clean. So I'm gonna tell you, it did an amazing job on all of my stainless steel appliances. I am not sponsored by eCloth at all. They are not paying me to say this, so this is my honest opinion. I would never lie to you, and I'm always gonna give you my honest opinion, but I always like to throw that out there so you guys know that these are truly wonderful, wonderful cloths. So the idea behind these cloths is that you just clean with water, chemical-free and super easy because you don't need a cleaner to clean. And I know some of you may be a little bit skeptical of not using a cleaner, and I honestly Honestly was too until I tried them I saw a lot of other ladies here on YouTube using them and I'm like I better see what all the fuss is about and you'll see how well they clean and honestly I'm not using any cleaner and if they didn't work it would leave streaks at the very least and you won't see any streaks on my mirrors or windows or my stainless steel as I'm using it there is whole science behind it that's all i'm gonna say it actually cleans i will have a link below so you can check it out read about it if you want to order some the one i'm using here is the stainless steel cleaning pack so you get two cloths that you need to get a streak free shine on your stainless steel again i'll have it linked below so you can check it out So I know I've talked about my natural calm before here on my channel, but whether I'm relaxing at night, most of the time I'm not cleaning, you know, and I'll drink it while I lay in bed and kind of relax for the night. Um, and then I also like it when I'm cleaning because I don't know if there's something comforting about it. I think just because it's become a part of my nighttime routine, it's something I look forward to and I kind of associate it with bedtime and relaxing, even though I'm not relaxing right now. Um, there is something calming about it. So yeah, I don't want to bore you guys with it because I know I've talked about it before, but if you want to go ahead and read about it, I'll have it linked down below. I want to hold you close. Don't want to take it slow. Oh, I just want you now. I want to put you in that spotlight. I would love for you guys to come over, find me on Instagram. It's Jamie Lynn's with an S dot journey. So it's just always nice because I love connecting with you over there. And I post a lot about the girls or just other parts of my life, working out, just, you know, more about my life other than cleaning and organizing and all of that. So come over and find me and say hi. If you're wondering what I'm using in the spray bottle to clean the ceramic floors, it's just the Bona Stone Tile and Laminate Floor Cleaner. You know I love the wood floor cleaner made by Bona, and I also like this one for my ceramic tile. I just poured it into a spray bottle, and then I use it in my bathrooms, and sometimes with the smaller bathrooms, I just like getting on my hands and my knees and really scrubbing the floor.
I had not planned on cleaning out my little garbage can area, but when I went to take out the garbage, I noticed how dirty it was. There were some coffee grounds that had gotten spilled all over it, and it was just a little gross, so I wanted to do a quick go in and wipe everything down with my DIY cleaner. It's one fourth cup of rubbing alcohol, a teaspoon of Dawn dish soap, and water in a spray bottle, and this is just a great all purpose cleaner that you can use all over your house, and it's also a good disinfectant. Baby, let me love you. And then I just added a little bit of baking soda to the bottom of my trash bag to absorb any odors in there and just kind of freshen it up a little. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you anywhere you want. As long as we're together, everything will do. You got me going on. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you. So I was just getting ready to mop with my shark steam mop, and the handle broke off. <laughs> so as bad as this looks. I've had this baby for a long, long time. And you guys know how much I clean. So I've had this since I think 10 years. So I'd say I did a pretty good job. So if you guys use the steam mop, let me know your recommendations below. I really like the Shark Steam Mop. I really like the Shark brand, but I'm open to other brands as well. Um, I just kind of like switching it up, sometimes using my steam, sometimes using my O-Cedar spin mop. So let me know, I'll have to go check them out, but I think I can still use it for at least the time. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it still pumps. I might still use it tonight, <laughs> but RIP shark steam mop, you've done me well. We've had a lot of great years together. So yeah, just leave me any recommendations you have for a steam up because I like switching it up a little bit and yes, I'm allowed to use a steam up on my hardwood floors. I get asked that a lot when I use a steam up, but I highly suggest that you check with your floor manufacturer and make for sure you're able to use a steam up before you actually use it. This was completely white. I don't even know if you guys can tell how dirty it is. You see that? You can see like the bright white there and then the dirt. Yeah. Pretty dirty. And I know, and I know, and I know, and I know you thought you'd see me cry again. Yes, I know, yes, I know, yes, I know, yes, I know you Wonder why I'm acting so at ease Cause I'm the one me Alright, so it was day two and I was getting ready to clean the upstairs and I just find it easier to kind of break it up. Here in a minute you're going to see me start my crock pot meal because I wanted to get that going before a really good deep clean of our bathroom. So here in a minute I'm going to be making that yummy crock pot ravioli lasagna. I know you 
I'll put the link to the recipe in the description, but it's super easy. You just have to brown the ground beef, cook it up. Or if you want to do ground turkey or something, you just put it, cook it, add garlic and spices in spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce, whatever. And then you just layer it into the crock pot and it was done in about an hour, hour and a half to two hours on high. So it's just a few simple ingredients and it was a winner in our house. So you guys definitely need to try it. Avery loved it, which if it, if your kid loves it, it's a win for everyone. So again, I'll have it linked below. Without you, without you Then I got started in our master bedroom first because then I was going to do our master bathroom. And I'm curious, tell me what you like to do as far as, or I guess the order when you're cleaning. Do you like to start out with the hardest first or the, the easiest? Honestly, I kind of switch it up depending on my energy levels and my mood for that particular day. Sometimes I want to start out with the hardest so I can get it over with and be done and just feel better as I'm moving about because I feel like there's nothing worse than cleaning for a long time and then just feeling like you have that that dreaded feeling of knowing that you have a really, really hard task or something to clean. You know what I mean? But then at the same time, sometimes I like to knock out the easier things because then when I get to the hard part, I know I'm done. So it's just like, you know, pumping those smaller, easier things out and then I get to the hard part and it's like what propels me through those hard parts is knowing I'm I'm done when I'm done with that hard part. So let me know kind of how you clean and what order you like to go in. After I vacuumed and mop in the master bathroom, I wanted to get in and clean out our master shower, which is my least favorite thing to clean. I've talked about that before. And I think it's because it's small and cramped and I hate using cleaners in there because it's small and enclosed and I feel like I'm breathing in all of the fumes when I'm cleaning, if that makes sense. And actually when I was pregnant, I did not clean the shower one time because I didn't wanna be breathing in any fumes. So Mike cleaned our bathroom every single week for me. So this is a big reason why I wanted to try the e-cloths in the shower. And since I liked the other e-cloths that I had tried, I figured, hey, why not? This is a perfect area to try it so I don't have to breathe in all these fumes. And they have this new shower pack and it comes with two cloths, one that helps clean and remove the soap scum and all of that, you know, 
soap scummy stuff that's in your shower and then you follow it up with the polishing cloth which shines everything and you guys will see how well this worked in my shower and i know i know i'm gonna get comments you're gonna be a little skeptical you're gonna leave a comment and be like come on i just don't get it i just don't feel like it's gonna clean but you guys can see my shower if i wasn't if it wasn't cleaning it it wouldn't look this good so if you're looking for a non-chemical option check this out all you have to do is try it I was hesitant, but it does truly work. And I'm not sponsored. I just want to throw that out. I know I said that earlier, but I wanted to use... But when I was done, I also wanted to use my trusty Rubbermaid power scrubber to get into the cracks of the tracking of the shower door. And then I was using my e-cloth to help wipe away everything that the power scrubber had pulled out. Down, 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 down. Yeah. Down, 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 down. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. 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 And I thought... It was really hard to get these angles, camera angles in my shower because I had to bring the actual camera into the shower. But here you can see the glass and polishing cloth that I was using and how shiny it made my glass door after I had used the first cloth to clean it and get all of the caked on soap and soap scum that was on the door. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. The next room I was going to pick up was Avery's room and this is one of the areas today specifically that I really, really wanted to pick up and clean. Her room has been bothering me for the past week and I've just been shutting the door. I don't know if you do that with, with your kids' rooms when it's a mess. I just got tired of looking at the mess and I just kept shutting the door. And every night I'd be like, okay, Avery, you have to clean up your room and then something would come up and we just never got a chance to having her go and do that. It just felt like things just kept coming up. and. Mike was gone with the girls during the afternoon and so I was alone and I just wanted to go in and take care of it. And I know so many of you understand that parents can go in and clean up kids' mess and you know I have her help me clean a lot. But I always get comments if she's not helping clean up her mess. So I just want you guys to know she does help me a lot but I just, I really enjoyed because I thought it was pretty messy and it was bothering me to go in there and get it done by myself and also put things where they go. She never puts things in the right places, which I guess it's her room. She can, for the most part, do what she wants, but I like going in there and just making sure the right stuff goes to the right places.
And then the last room I was going to tackle um, until later at night when the kids would go to bed. That's when Mike and I were going to go through our paper clutter. Um, but the last room was the kids' bathroom. And when I'm done cleaning this, um, we just ended up having a nice little you know, rest of the afternoon, rest of our evening, spending time as a family and eating our yummy crockpot meal. And then when Mike and I put the kids to bed, we were planning on going through all those papers, our filing cabinet. So I'm gonna show you how what we decluttered, what we got rid of, so stay tuned for that. Just let go, lose control, play songs on the radio too loud. This could be magical. I'm going to explain it all to you, the system we use and what we're doing here in a minute. And I'm also gonna show you everything we were able to purge and declutter from the filing cabinet. And it's just crazy because we were able to get rid of about the same amount of documents that we get rid of every single year, which is nice because it's not all piling up. And you know, in like 10 years, we're not going to have a ton of paperwork and old paperwork to go through. The system that we have in place is self purging. So as long as we dedicate about 20 minutes or so once a year, it doesn't pile up and we can keep everything in this two drawer smaller filing okay, cabinet. So Mike and I just went through all of our paperwork and I've had a lot of questions on how we organize everything and I'm going to show you guys. So our main one, and we go through this once a year to kind of keep up. Um, this is everything we're throwing away this year. So um, and then Mike just took a bunch of stuff downstairs that has to be shredded. So we had a pile that needs to be shredded. This stuff is all getting thrown away. And here is everything. Okay, so um, obviously it's not perfect, but I think it's called the Freedom Filer System. So you know how when you have receipts, you, you know, you go to Target, you go to Home Goods, and you're like, you just kind of shove your receipt in your wallet, not sure if you're gonna take what you have back or whatever. So in order to organize all of that, what you do is you have, we have all of our, we have folders for, you know, January receipts, an odd year. And then you have a January receipts, even year. So you have them here, you just put them in here. And then that way you always have every receipt you ever use just in case you need it for everything. So you have um, a folder for every month, and an odd year and then a folder for every month and an even year so this is how we organize our receipts or just like general receipts and then you know it's important to keep your taxes <laughs> organized so we have all of our taxes for seven years because that's what the IRS suggests you could be audited up to seven years so we have all of our taxes from seven years ago okay and then you know, we have all of our house documents. We have back there medical. I'm not gonna get back there because some of um, employer information is labeled on there. So like Mike's employer is labeled on there and past employers, anything that we think is important to keep. So we have medical for Avery, medical for the twins. Mike and I have a medical folder. We have a folder for our pets, mortgage, auto, pretty much anything that you need a folder for, you can put it in here. So we have everything in here. And then, so every year you go through and obviously your taxes, you can move back one year. Mike and I just did that. And then with the receipts, um, so since it's an even year, we went through and emptied out all of the even folders so all of the odd folders still have their receipts so basically you're keeping the receipts for two years but you know most of the time you're not going to need them but just every year you go in there whatever year it is you go through whether it's an odd or even year you go through empty them and it just kind of makes you 
stay organized, stay on task, and get rid of all of that paper clutter. And then down here, nothing exciting. This is where we keep, we have some folders um, for the house. Our We did not build our house, the house was built. It was less than a year old when we bought it. And there's a folder of everything, like paint colors and everything paint colors and appliances and all that. Um, it's a folder that doesn't fit up here. And then other house things like with big folders like this that don't fit. So we just kept it all down here. And then here we have just some owner manuals. So like this is for the Roomba. Um, we have something like the girls have a plasma car down here and it has like an extra piece. So it's kind of like the paperwork from that extra piece. So any owner manuals we thought we should keep or little pieces like that, we have down here. That's how we keep track of all of our paper clutter other than, other than the paperwork we get from Avery School. But I do have a folder in there that has um, each year of Avery schooling that I'll put in there. Things that I want to save. Um, not like artwork or anything, but like just major paperwork or when we have conferences all of that goes in here i do have a separate bin where i keep anything like artwork or special artistic pieces that i want to save for her as far as like schoolwork but anything like official paperwork official documents taxes medical all of that goes in here and again we try to stay up on this and go once a year go through everything because if not it just clutters up to be honest with you guys before we went through this this bottom drawer barely shut because it was just like built up with stuff so you have to go through it every year and usually i'll pick around january after the first of the year just because you know you're gearing up for tax season and um like the craziness of the year has ended so it's just like a perfect time to go through this so this is how we organize all of our paperwork um official paperwork and i like everything just like elsewhere in my house i like every place to have a home so when I come home and I have a piece of paperwork, like a medical document or something we need for taxes, instead of just like tossing it somewhere or throwing it in a drawer, it has a place in here. And I know that it's not just going to get lost in the shuffle, if that makes sense. We'll put it in here and I know that once a year we're going to go through it. And if we don't need it after that year, we're going to get rid of it. So that kind of helps us stay organized and not let all of that paper clutter clutter build up because you know I don't want like after 10 years us trying to move and we have all these boxes of paperwork that we don't need so that's kind of the goal it's kind of a the reason why I like this system is because like weeds out the junk on its own so as long as you go in here once a year with the folders you go the odd and even years and then the taxes like after you go in there you have your seven years of taxes you remove the last year so like it almost in a way as long as you go in once a year it weeds out all of the junk on its own and that's why i like it so it's pretty simple and it's been working for us and allows us to keep our paper clutter as minimal as possible but that is going to be it i hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did don't forget to follow me on instagram and i will see you guys next time bye